got that. Oh my god. today after hours of non-stop rain. Floodwaters closed down roads and damaged both homes and businesses. News 2's Erica Francis was in Mount Juliet all day for us and she has the very latest. Some homeowners say they never went to sleep. Those that did woke up to this. Ponds, even lakes in their yards. Here off Old Lebanon Dirt Road, a pontoon. The man who owns this home says his barn is destroyed. Homes, not the only thing impacted. It's destroyed everything inside. The owner of David D. and Karate Studios says he was just getting back on his feet following COVID-19. Now this. This is our fourth flood. In this location? Yes. We thought that the center and the community had done everything they could to, to mitigate the situation from 2010, but obviously that is uh, erroneous information. The Karate Studio, one of a dozen businesses destroyed off Mount Juliet Road from rushing floodwaters early Sunday morning. It's just unreal. I mean, every square inch of our building, which is about 13,000 square feet, is just a complete loss. Like the nursery, the kids' areas, the, uh, if it wasn't higher than three feet, I mean, it's just, it's gone. The Valley Center shopping area and New Tribe Church seeing water at its worst. Water just rushed in from across the field about waist high and just smashed right through that garage door. I mean, literally a river flowed right through the back of this building and just pushed everything out through these windows. So what do you do now? Um, well, <laughs> we take a lot of pictures and we try to get our congregation to uh, bear with us as we find a new place to meet for uh, Easter Sunday. For this community, the hits keep coming, but that doesn't mean they're giving up. We'll make it. You know, the church is not a building, it's people. We all know that. We live by that. Um, uh, but it, yeah, it's just going to take some it's going to take some time to kind of get our heads wrapped around uh, what to do next. Until then, let the cleanup begin. Erica Francis, News 2. In all, Mount Juliet police telling News 2 three people were rescued from homes, 12 What Brittany Edwards saw outside her South Nashville home late Saturday night as waters from the Seven Mile Creek started to rise. Around 11 p.m. it started rising by 12, 15, 12, 30. Our garage was completely covered. The area receiving seven to nine inches of rain over the weekend, the second highest two day rainfall on record. Uh, shell shock. <laughs> just to be honest, I didn't have a thought. I just prayed that our house didn't get flooded.
While several items in her garage are a complete loss, she says water didn't get into her home. But some of her neighbors weren't so lucky. The Shrew family says they saw about a foot of water inside their house. From their backyard, you can see cars pushed on top of each other by the strong currents. The family saying they heard something fall on their roof Saturday night, which woke them up just in time for them to get out. Yeah, it happened so quickly. We were actually wading through about uh, mid thigh high water in a matter of minutes and uh, the stream was getting uh, the current was getting so uh, difficult that we knew if we didn't get out fast then we were going to be in trouble. Many of the items in their home were damaged by the rising waters and now they're cleaning up while they figure out what's next. We've gotten a lot of support from people calling, texting, just saying anything you need, we're here. And that's that's yeah. very typical Nashville. We feel we'll very supported. <laughs> yeah. It's a little overwhelming, but we uh, we believe Water levels are still very high here in the Nashville area after they saw seven inches of rain in just 48 hours. This is the Harpeth River behind me here in Franklin, Tennessee, and this is just one of several locations all throughout the area that are seeing these high waters right now. The Nashville mayor issuing a local state of emergency today due to all this flooding. At least four people have been killed as a result of the flash flooding in this area. Williamson County, where I'm at, had over 55 road closures due to high water and 34 water rescues, according to the county's emergency management agency. Nashville Mayor John Cooper says this is the city's second highest two day rainfall on record, and now the goal is to get help to those who need it. And Metro is working with vulnerable communities across Davidson County, including areas where our homeless neighbors often congregate. And many local waterways are in moderate to major flood stages. First responders are walking creek beds and working with the Red Cross to canvas affected lightning and thunder you can't hear anything. Life or death situations typically do not look this serene the next day. This was just flat across water moving down. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't look anything like what I saw the other night. Creve Hall in Davidson County, one of the worst hit spots. Just a pouring rain here. In the middle of a flash flood emergency, listening and following screams into swift water are trained water rescuers like Pete Griffin. Yeah, they're saying get here quick. I can't hold on much longer. When you hear that and you know that someone's on the brink of perhaps dying, uh, you try to move a little bit faster. Navigating in a boat around trees and debris, Pete's crew made it to one of the voices. I said, where's the other person? And at that point he said, the officer's over there. And we're like, the officer? Uh, next thing I know, I see holding on to the bottom of a tree I see a, uh, the MNPD patch on his shoulder, and that was about as high as the water was on him. I mean, he was his shoulder and his head, and that was it above the water. Pete says he was in bad shape, possibly only alive because of the man next to him who ran in to help 90 minutes earlier. We just knew we had to get them. We did. We brought them back, and then uh, once they were here and, and back to safety, then we... Uh, moved on to the next one. When a neighbor texts me to say that they were here, it's the only thing I could think to do was to come and thank them. Did you pull me in that boat, man? He did. <laughs> you got a strong neck today. <laughs> Joel Cummings was the man in the water with the police officer. 
there's a good chance I wouldn't be here if they hadn't got there when they did. Both know this conversation <laughs> came close to not happening. It means a lot to see him and to be able to say thank you. While it is good to be seen, Pete says it is even better to be heard. You just had to shout to try to communicate in some way. When life is on the line. I would not encourage people to get into those waters and try to help themselves because it really is a dangerous situation. In South Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. He is alive and here. those impacted by the flooding. One way to do so is logging on to Hands on Nashville. They are currently accepting applications for volunteers to hand out snacks, water, and provide general hospitality. We checked with Hands on Nashville this morning. They told us they are still working with the city to determine where volunteers will be deployed, but a good idea is just to go to their website and get on their list for any opportunities that pop up.